dear viewers greetings in this video we are going to see about the enteric pathogen salmonella species now first general characteristics of salmonella species in grams classification the salmonella species is coming under the gram negative rod shaped bacilli and it is motile in nature due to the presence of peritracheus flagella the size of the salmonella species is 2 micrometer to 3 micrometer long and it belongs to the family enterobacteriaceae capsules absent endospores absent the mode of respiration is aerobic mode of respiration or facultative anaerobic respiration the optimum temperature for the cultivation of salmonella species is 34 degrees celsius to 37 degrees celsius and the optimum ph is 6.5 to 7.5 and regarding the habitat uh, they are present in the intestinal tract of humans and animals and the genus salmonella was named after daniel elmer salmon a veterinary pathologist who ran a united states department of agriculture that is a microbial microorganisms research program in the year 1800 uh, together with theobal smith he found salmonella in hogs that succumbed to the disease known as hog cholera in the genus salmonella uh, there are uh, five pathogenic species they are salmonella typhi which is also called as salmonella enterica salmonella para typhi salmonella cholera zoeis salmonella typhi murium and salmonella enteritidis disease transmission of salmonella species uh, salmonella infections are mainly transmitted by ingestion of food and water and the major foods which are responsible for spreading the salmonella infections includes uh, poultry eggs uh, and dairy products these are the major and common sources of the salmonella infection the ability of the microorganisms to cause the disease is called as virulence the term virulence was first coined by the scientist louis pasteur and the virulence factors are the agents which are responsible for causing infection in human beings or any other host cells and here salmonella species produces uh, seven types of virulence factors they are endotoxin uh, ba antigen that increases the virulence Uh, lipopolysaccharides invasion proteins core polysaccharides somatic o antigen and flagella h antigen the incubation period of salmonella species is 8 to 14 days and the infective dose required for causing an infection is 1 lakh bacteria pathogenesis of salmonella species after ingestion and passage through the stomach Salmonella species attach to the mucosa of the small intestine and invades into the M cells or microfold cells which are located in the pious patches as well as into the enterocytes the bacteria remains in endocytic vacuoles where they replicate and the bacteria can also be transported across to the cytoplasm and released into the blood or lymphatic circulation after that regulation of the attachment engulfment and replication is controlled primarily by two large cluster of genes they are pathogenicity island 1 and pathogenicity island 2 and the two large cluster of genes are present on the bacterial chromosomes and the pathogenicity island 1 encodes salmonella secreted invasion protein and the pathogenicity island 2 contains genes that allows the bacteria to evade the host immune response finally the inflammatory response confines the infection to the gastrointestinal tract and mediates the release of prostaglandins and stimulates camp and active fluid secretions the salmonella species results in four clinical diseases they are gastroenteritis bacteremia enteric fever or typhoid fever and asymptomatic colonization
The first clinical disease caused by the salmonella species is gastroenteritis. Uh, gastroenteritis is the most common form of salmonella disease and the symptoms generally appear 6 to 48 hours after the consumption of the contaminated food or water with the initial presentation consisting of nausea, vomiting and non-bloody diarrhea. Uh, fever, abdominal cramps, myalgia and headaches are also common. Uh, colonic involvement can be demonstrated in the acute form of the disease and the symptoms can persist from 2 to 7 days before spontaneous resolution. The second clinical disease caused by the salmonella species is bacteremia. All salmonella species can cause bacteremia although infections with salmonella typhi, salmonella paratyphi and salmonella cholerazoeus uh, more commonly lead to the bacteremic phase. The risk of salmonella bacteremia is higher in pediatric and immunocompromised patients like uh, HIV patients and sickle cell patients. The clinical presentations of uh, salmonella bacteremia is like that of the other gram-negative bacteria. However, uh, localized infections like osteomyelitis, endocarditis and arthritis can occur in as many as 10% of the patients. The third clinical disease caused by the salmonella species is enteric fever or typhoid fever. A salmonella typhi produces a febrile illness called as typhoid fever. A milder form of typhoid disease referred to as a paratyphoid fever is produced by salmonella paratyphi A, salmonella paratyphi B or salmonella scotimullary, salmonella paratyphi C or salmonella Hirschfeldi. And other salmonella serotypes can rarely produce a similar syndrome and 10 to 14 days after ingestion of the bacteria, the patient experiences the symptoms like a fever that starts low and increases daily, possibly reaching, a, reaching as high as 104.9 Fahrenheit or 40.5 degrees Celsius, which is also called as pyrexia vomiting, headache, fatigue, myalgia, malaise, anorexia or weight loss and abdominal pain. And these symptoms persist for one week or longer and are followed by gastrointestinal symptoms. And this cycle correspond, corresponds to an initial bacteremic phase that is followed by the colonization of the gallbladder and then reinfection of the intestines. The final and the fourth clinical disease caused by the salmonella species is asymptomatic colonization. The strains of salmonella responsible for causing typhoid and paratyphoid fevers are maintained by human colonization. Uh, chronic colonization for more than one year after symptomatic disease develops in 1% to 5% of patients and the gallbladder being the reservoir in most patients. Uh, chronic colonization with other species of salmonella occurs in less than 1% of the patients and does not represent an important source of human infection. Laboratory Diagnosis of Salmonella Species The first diagnostic method is microscopic examination. Under gram staining, the salmonella species was observed as pink colored gram negative rods and in motility test, the cells are actively motile due to the presence of peritrichus flagella. Next, colony morphology on culture medium. In nutrient agar, salmonella species colonies are circular, low convex, smooth, grayish white and translucent. In blood agar, the salmonella species exhibits gamma hemolysis. In McConkey agar, non-lactose formatting colonies were observed and in Salmula shigella agar, black colonies were observed. In deoxycholate citrate agar, the Salmula species produce pale colonies and in the hectan entric agar or HE agar, Salmula species produce transparent green colonies. And in Wilson Blair and Bismuth sulphide agar, the salmonella species produces jet black upper colonies with metallic sheen 
and finally in the xylose lies in deoxycholate agar or HLT agar salmonella species produces red translucent red translucent upper colonies with the black center the black center formation is due to the production of h2s uh, this image shows the colony morphology of salmonella in salmonella shigella agar uh, this image shows the colony morphology of salmonella typhi on wilson blair bismuth sulfide agar uh, this image shows the colony morphology of salmonella typhi on HLD agar or silos lies in deoxycholate agar. And next the biochemical test based identification. Catalyst test positive, oxidase test negative, urease test negative, indole test positive, methyl red test or MR test positive, Vogus Prescott test or PP test negative, citrate utilization test positive, hydrogen sulfide test positive or nitin decarboxylase test positive and finally TSA test or sugar triple sugar ion test shows alkaline slant acid bulk gas produced and H2S produced and regarding the serological diagnosis vital test is the widely used method for the serological diagnosis of typhoid infection or salmonella typhi infection. Uh, this image shows the TSA agar slant of the salmonella typhi, acid but alkaline slant and H2S production observed here. Antibiotic therapy. Infection with salmonella typhi and salmonella paratyphi or disseminated infections with other organisms should be treated with an effective antibiotics like fluoroquinolones, example ciprofloxacin, chloramphenicol, trimethoprim, sulfamethazole and, and broad spectrum cephalosporins. Finally, vaccination and preventive measures. Uh, carriers of salmonella typhi and salmonella paratyphi should be identified and treated. Vaccination against salmonella typhi can reduce the risk of disease for travelers into endemic areas. Uh, most infections can be controlled by proper preparation of poultry and eggs and avoidance of contamination of other foods with uncooked poultry products. Dear viewers, that's all about the salmonella species. Thank you for the support. Thank you.